You know that feeling when you glance at your smartwatch after a long day and see you've hit 10,000 steps? It's oddly satisfying, like a little digital pat on the back. But have you ever stopped to wonder how your smartwatch actually counts those steps? It's not like there's a tiny person inside tracking your every move. So what's the secret? Well, it all comes down to a mix of sensors, algorithms, and some pretty clever engineering. Let's break it down, right here on History of Simple Things. At the core of step tracking is something called an accelerometer. It's a tiny sensor inside your smartwatch that measures movement. More specifically, it detects acceleration, the changes in speed and direction of your wrist as you walk. When you take a step, your arm naturally swings back and forth. That motion creates acceleration, which the accelerometer picks up. But an accelerometer alone isn't enough to determine what's a step and what's just random movement. That's where software comes in. Smartwatches use algorithms to analyze patterns in the accelerometer data and determine whether a movement actually counts as a step. This helps filter out actions like waving, typing, or even reaching for your coffee cup, things that involve motion but aren't actual steps. Some smartwatches also use a gyroscope alongside the accelerometer. While the accelerometer measures changes in speed, the gyroscope detects rotation and orientation. This helps refine step counting by understanding whether the movement is part of a walking motion rather than just random arm flailing. If you lift your arm to check the time, for example, the gyroscope can help differentiate that from a step. So what happens to all that movement data? It gets processed by algorithms that have been trained to recognize walking patterns. These algorithms compare your movement data to known patterns of human walking. If the movement fits the profile, consistent strides, regular arm swings, and a rhythmic pattern, it gets counted as a step. Different companies use different step counting algorithms, which is why your smartwatch might count slightly more or fewer steps than a friend's, even if you walk the same distance. Some devices are more sensitive, counting even the smallest movements as steps, while others might require a more distinct walking motion. Now, you've probably noticed that sometimes your smartwatch gives you credit for steps you didn't actually take. Maybe you're sitting on the couch, moving your arm around, and suddenly you've racked up a few extra steps. On the flip side, you might be walking while pushing a stroller or carrying groceries, and your watch doesn't seem to count all your steps. Why does this happen? The main reason is that smartwatches rely on wrist movement to detect steps. If your wrist isn't moving in a way that mimics walking, the watch may not count it properly. That's why step counts tend to be more accurate when your arms swing naturally, as they do when walking normally. Some smartwatches try to correct for this by using additional sensors like GPS. If you go for a walk or run outdoors, the GPS can help measure actual distance traveled. But GPS isn't always practical for everyday step tracking. It drains battery life and it doesn't work well indoors. So most of the time, smartwatches rely on their built-in motion sensors. If you want your smartwatch to be more accurate, there are a few things you can do. First, make sure your personal settings, like height, weight, and stride length, are correctly entered in your smartwatch's companion app. These factors affect how the device interprets your movement. Some smartwatches also let you manually calibrate your stride length. If your step count seems off, try walking a known distance like 100 meters, and compare your watch's count to the actual steps you took. If there's a mismatch, adjusting the stride length setting can improve accuracy. Walking and running have different movement patterns, so smartwatches often adjust their algorithms accordingly. When you run, your stride is longer, 
and your arm swings tend to be more exaggerated. Smartwatches take these differences into account and may even use GPS tracking to get more precise distance measurements during runs. Some models also measure cadence, the number of steps you take per minute, which is especially useful for runners trying to maintain a consistent pace. The combination of accelerometers, gyroscopes, and GPS makes modern smartwatches surprisingly effective at distinguishing between walking, jogging, and running. Beyond counting steps, many smartwatches also track other types of movement. For example, they can recognize activities like cycling, swimming, or even stair climbing. Some devices use a barometer to detect changes in elevation, which helps track flights of stairs climbed. Others use heart rate sensors to estimate activity intensity, ensuring that even movements without clear step patterns, like yoga or weightlifting, still contribute to your overall activity tracking. Many smartwatches also have sleep tracking, which relies on motion detection along with heart rate variability. They can estimate sleep stages by analyzing how much you move during the night. So even when you're not consciously tracking your steps, your smartwatch is still keeping an eye on your movement. As technology improves, Step counting is getting even more accurate. Newer smartwatches incorporate machine learning to refine their step detection algorithms over time. They can adapt to individual movement styles and reduce false step counts by recognizing personal walking habits. Some research suggests that future wearables might integrate more advanced sensors, like pressure-sensitive insoles and shoes, to directly measure footfalls rather than relying on wrist movement. This could eliminate many of the inaccuracies we see today. So, the next time you check your smartwatch and see how many steps you've taken, remember that it's not just blindly counting every movement. It's using tiny sensors, sophisticated algorithms, and a lot of data processing to figure out what's a real step and what's just you waving at a friend. While step counts aren't always perfect, they represent a fascinating blend of technology and human motion analysis, constantly improving to become more precise. And if your smartwatch ever gives you a few extra steps just for waving your arms around, well, let's call that a little bonus for the effort. Whether you're meticulously tracking your daily movement or just enjoying the convenience of a fitness reminder, smartwatches continue to evolve, making step counting more accurate and insightful than ever before. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.